Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited because we are going to test out a new foundation and that is the Makeup by Mario foundation. This is called Surreal Skin Foundation and this came out today. I went to Sephora, picked it up and it came and started recording. Uh, this is $42 and yeah we'll we'll get into the details in a little bit but i'm very excited to record this is the first time i'm recording in almost three weeks um and i'm revived excited and we're gonna do a full day wear test i want to see how this foundation lasts how it's it works on the skin. I'm going to do primer, no primer, and all the good stuff. So if you're interested, continue watching. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tanya. I'd love for you to subscribe down below and let's get started. A few things about the foundation. Like I mentioned, it is $42. It has a natural finish. It's hydrating, medium coverage, which I like, and long wearing. It says it's a breathable, luminous foundation that effortlessly builds and blends to illuminate the complexion with customizable long wearing coverage. Uh, I did swatch this one in store. I got the color 8N and I am at my absolute fairest. I haven't seen the sun in two or three weeks. Um, so yeah, I chose something that's slightly darker than I am right now just because I will never be this light. Um, and hopefully it will work. Okay, this is the foundation right here. Yes, it is glass, but it's very light. Um, this is the box that it came in and you were able to see the shade right here. And this is the packaging of the foundation. Honestly, it's a very simple, kind of basic to the point. It kind of matches um, the whole branding by Makeup by Mariam. It does have a pump, which we really like. So let's see the color. It did, when I swatched it, it did seem very nice and kind of smooth, luminous, light. Um, but this is the color that I have picked. Like I said, it is 8N and that stands for neutral. And that is a swatch right there. I like the color, I like the undertone. Honestly, in the summertime, and if I get a little bit more tan, I bet that I'm gonna need a deeper color. We'll see how it dries down as well because sometimes it'll look even deeper, but I was looking at the five end and that seemed way too fair. And I thought that this one, I can probably pull this off right now. Uh, let me wipe this and we'll put primer on one side no primer on the other the primer i'm going to put on this side is the glowish by huda and i really like this it's kind of a good in between it gives slight moisture to just a tiny bit it helps with the pore and smoothness and i really want to see if there's a difference between the primed side and the side that it's not I think this primer is going to last me forever because I always use a little bit off the cap and that's about it. Guys, I haven't worn makeup in, again, two, three weeks. I, I did wear it for Christmas Day, um, which was yesterday, and that was nice, but then I had to take it off and I was like, oh gosh. Um, so let's do one pump. It seems like a lot comes out um, and it's it's quite liquid not too liquid it's not runny but it feels light on the skin so i'm gonna add on the side that's not primed i feel like there's a lot of coverage just by dot dotting it and let's blend this out i think i like the color yeah okay so that means that Whenever I am a little bit more tan, I'm gonna need a deeper shade. If this one works right now. Okay, that looks, whew, that looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I walked into Sephora today and I felt like I was in heaven. I was so excited to be out and about. If you guys don't know, I had 
some surgery abdominal because of that i've been in bed and barely moving for two weeks and i'm finally back to where like i can be out and about um so i was like a child in sephora just swatching in i was like oh my gosh i'm so excited um but wow that looks flawless it feels like nothing it feels like i have nothing on doesn't that look so good and it took me no time to blend out it is kind of light to medium right now i think i can build it up i'm gonna build it up on my cheeks um because i feel like i have a little bit of redness around my eyes around my cheeks probably lack of sleep but let's see if it builds up i'm actually surprised how well the color works um, and the undertone it's perfect for me um i'm gonna zoom you guys in i'm trying to see if it gets into my fine lines i feel like i'm gonna have to powder the this portion right here where the pores are just because see that glow right there i don't know if you can tell but that will emphasize my pores quite a bit throughout the day just in general i already know my skin so let's zoom you in so this side is with a layer and build up a little bit on the cheeks and then with nothing on obviously i have that primer but you can't really see it the coverage is perfect for me this is a true medium coverage i would say light to medium because i was able to put the first layer and you could still see quite a lot of my freckles and the more i built up on the cheek the more i covered but not fully this is not full coverage this is my perfect coverage i absolutely love this um my only worry is around the pore area will this stay it already looks a little bit luminous um and again i don't have a primer on this side it doesn't look bad right now but it doesn't look blurring which with a luminous foundation like this i don't expect it to be extremely blurring however the finish of that foundation is absolutely gorgeous i think it looks a very natural uh kind of skin light with slight luminosity it is not too much but it does look just fresh uh, and i really need that <laughs> i feel like i have been struggling with just feeling blah um so i love it i think the color is perfect too for now and i do think if um i really end up loving this foundation i will get a deeper shade as well but i wouldn't go any lighter than this and like i said this is my lightest i have been in years so you can kind of gauge uh the color shade i do love the undertone as well all right let's move on to the other side i'm going to add a little bit here so i think this blends out softer not softer um maybe more than i expect when i first apply it because i put it on and i'm like oh wow that's a lot of coverage but then once you start blending it out you realize that um it's more of that medium coverage um and it's very light on the skin I am curious to see the difference between the primer and non-primer. I expect it to be quite a difference just because, I mean, it is a really good primer, smoothing primer. So we'll see. I'm going to add just a little bit um, just to this area. I really uh, would, would be able to use one pump for my whole face. I did wipe off the excess. I don't know what I did that, but... I'm gonna try to build this up right here so far it looks so good guys i'm so excited i've been craving a new good foundation um and i've kind of mentioned in past videos that i'm trying to be quite selective of the products that i want to um purchase and review on my channel and this would be one of those that i'm like super pumped about Okay, so I immediately notice a difference around the pore area with the blurring primer and without it, it just looks a little bit smoother. Um, the pores seem covered better. I'm trying to see the glow. I feel like the glow is similar, 
but it almost covered better around this area. So I don't know if, because having that under layer, putting foundation on top of it, it goes almost further. The foundation goes further, but I do like it with that pore filling primer. I'm gonna try to build up just a little bit here because I do think I have better coverage right here. I'm gonna bring it a little bit under the eyes as well. I do have this Rare Beauty new concealer thing, but I kind of feel like this is not gonna give me enough coverage. It's very light and it's more of a brightening effect. I think I'm gonna do a get ready with me with newer products. I have some, uh, the Rare Beauty highlighter as well. I have some Simi Haze product. So I think I'm gonna leave that for my next video or, you know, future video. But right now I wanna focus on the foundation. All right, this is how we're looking at. Let's zoom you guys in so you can see the skin before I put concealer, powder, and all that good stuff. So as you guys can see, this looks definitely luminous. It does look beautiful on the skin, but it is glowier. I think it got, I wouldn't say glowier throughout, you know, the past 10 minutes when I've been trying to play with it and applied it, but it hasn't set down. So this is definitely for people that like that more luminous finish. I want to say it slightly reminds me of the House Labs foundation, but that one, mm, that one's a little thicker. Uh, when you apply it. This seems a little bit lighter, lighter coverage as well, and slightly glowier in my opinion. Still absolutely beautiful, but I do see myself, you know, uh, having to powder that T-zone, and I'm like kind of afraid it doesn't feel set right now. It feels like it's slightly still tacky so i'm curious throughout the day if that will just calm down i will not powder the whole uh, foundation i'm just going to put concealer under powder the t-zone which i always do and then kind of do a light makeup on top of it but this is how we're looking like i think it looks very skin like i like the finish i like the coverage so much and i even like the color i like the undertone for sure all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead, finish my makeup, and I will show you the finished look, and then we'll test it out throughout the day, do some check-ins in natural light, and I'll show you how it looks and how it lasts at the end of the day. All right, guys, I finished the whole look. I put a little bit of bronzer. I used the Makeup by Mario bronzing stick, or contour stick. I put a little bit of blush. I used a little bit of a, a powder Charlotte Tilbury blush and I skipped highlighter because I really want to see, you know, that glow that's from the foundation. Um, put a little bit of Makeup by Mario lip combo. I have here the lip liner, which I've been quite obsessed with since I got it. This is in Toasty. And then I put Makeup by Mario again in the color Air in the lipstick, and I topped it a little bit with this Natasha Denona Dream, or what color is this? I don't know. It rubbed off in the center. On the eyes, I just put mascara on and a dot of like powder um, shadow just to create a slight wing. And that is it. Um, so let's talk about the foundation. Oh, I forgot to mention that I did powder this whole T-zone and I love the foundation so much more now that I have powdered. The concealer I've used is my Kulfi concealer absolutely love this, but I I felt that the foundation showed a little bit of texture before I powdered it. Once I powdered and I used the Makeup uh, Forever, this is the Micro Finishing Loose Powder. Um, I love the way it looks just everywhere. Because of the luminosity of the foundation, you will tend to see more of that texture. Very rarely do you find a foundation that is luminous and is just completely blurring. So I was expecting to see a little bit of, I don't know, either texture or a little bit of pores 
to see the pores a little bit more visible rather than like a matte foundation. However, right now I absolutely love the way it looks. I think it is very skin-like. Um, I, I don't feel like I have foundation on and I didn't set this part and I, I don't see transferring at all. There's a slight feel of tackiness, but it's so light that I wouldn't even mention it. I'm just trying to be extremely picky to give you all the details of the foundation, but it's not something that I'm concerned of or that it hasn't come off my hands whatsoever. So this is how the skin is looking like. You can still kind of see some of my freckles through around here. Not so much here just because I did put concealer as well. Very little of it, but that covers some. Um, but I feel like it looks really nice kind of like my skin but more perfected and it doesn't feel like pretty much anything on the skin which i really like and the finish you can see it has some luminosity to it but it's not like too much i think it's really beautiful all right guys so that is everything for now i will be wearing it throughout the day i'll do a check-in in natural light so you guys can see really up close and then one at the end of the day and hopefully it will work because i really i really like the way it looks right now on the skin i could see this being a daily foundation for me so i will see you in just a little bit all right guys i am outside and it is freezing we had a little bit of snow as you can see there but not much like this morning we had like really big snowflakes and that was kind of nice um but okay i'm outside let's see how this is looking like in natural light so far from what i could tell it looked actually beautiful so this is the one that doesn't have a primer and this side is the one that does have a primer i feel like i was off center i feel like it looks really good honestly it hasn't been that long it's been maybe a couple hours since i applied it so I think maybe if, ha if I have time, I'll do another checking outside, but I will go have a massage, but it's only, it's like lymphatic. So it's only on the abs and it won't touch my face, but you know, it could ruin my makeup a little bit. So I wanted to show you before I do that, but hopefully I'll do one more outside um, check-in. It is freezing. So I'm going, I'm going inside, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's looking pretty good so far. I love it. It is the end of the day and I didn't get to do another check-in even though I really wanted to but by the time I went I got my massage and I got out it was already dark outside um, but I mean I am amazed by this foundation. Let me tell you I had a very busy day um, and this has not budged. It has not moved. It's been snowing here, kind of rainy. I went for to the mall as well. So I've been out and about all day and this foundation has not budged. I looked in the mirror closely, except this lash, everything looks the same. And I'm quite shocked because like I said, even though the massage it wasn't like, oh, a full body or head, it's focused more, more on my abdomen, but I did stay on my side and like my head was on a pillow on both sides. So I definitely did, you know, do a lot with the face and it hasn't moved. It looks exactly the way it did when I first applied it, if not better. Uh, so a couple of things, let's look at the primed versus not primed. I have to say that I do think I like this side just a little bit more. It feels a little bit smoother overall, but it's not a huge deal. Um, I was very scared of this foundation being too glowy and luminous, but it is not. It almost sets better throughout the day and it becomes very like healthy looking. It's a very skin-like 
and but perfecting at the same time i used you guys saw i was able to build it on my cheeks and it is so long lasting um this side had absolutely no primer on and this had just a little bit in this this area and i don't think that one wore better than the other um what else should i say i'm just quite surprised obviously i have a little bit you know of darkness under the eyes that's more from the concealer and the mascara you know rubbing my eyes and things like that but not the actual foundation i even had my sister come up and look closely to my skin to see if she saw any imperfections um or if it got into any of my fine lines and there's nothing so as you can probably tell, I am very, very, very pleased with this foundation. Uh, I like the undertone. I think this color is good for me right now. It will be too light, you know, the more I go outside. And definitely in the summer, I will need a darker shade. But for now, I will I'll use this one. I love it. I am not planning to sell 10 anytime soon. So this is going to be perfect and i love this i think this would be a great everyday foundation because you can kind of sheer it out a little bit or you can build up in areas that you want and this is not heavy it doesn't feel like almost anything on the skin and it's set it set itself it's 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 quite surprising because when I first applied it, I was expecting this to kind of stay tacky and move a little bit and just, you know, show some oils, but there's nothing. So love this. What a hit. A huge surprise. I cannot wait to see a concealer from him because I'm expecting something just as good. Um, so yeah, if you guys are thinking, I think honestly wearing it throughout the day, I can kind of say that even oilier skin uh, people would really enjoy it. If your skin is, you know, more in the normal oilier combo, I think that would work really, really well. Um, right now, I'm more normal. It's quite quite dry outside, so you know, normal to dry. And obviously, this is my comfort zone. But I could see people. Um, um, with different skin tones being able to use this i don't know about super oily whenever you need that full-on matte but yes huge surprise what a great uh day to start recording again i'm so excited guys i i recorded this morning and i just felt alive again i'm like this i love doing this um so i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope it was helpful i wish i did more check-ins but you know life happens uh also leave me your thoughts down below let me know if you're interested in this foundation have you been uh, have you picked it up and all your thoughts so i have missed you i'm so glad to be back and i will see you in my next video bye